Hello everyone, welcome to our HTML and CSS course for beginners. I'd like to thank every one of you that took some time to join us today. Before I begin, I want to mention a few things. The first thing is to encourage you, for those of you that are starting to learn how to code for the first time, um, a lot of times you probably might doubt yourself if, you know, will I be able to do this? Well, I was just just like you. I was in the same position as you are. And I didn't know anything about coding, you know. And actually, I had to pay some people to do coding work for me, you know. But And the reason why I was doing that is I thought I could never be able to learn how to code. But after some time, I challenged myself. And, you know, I was able to get through it. So if you have any... Um, uncertainties or you have some kind of doubts can I do this well I want to encourage you that as long as you have that determination and will to want to learn you will break through easily the uh, essence of this course is to break things down and make it very easy for you to uh, consume and understand and digest um, you know HTML and CSS so all you need is that will to want to learn okay that's the most important thing and the rest will be okay all right so um yeah get rid of all any fear anything that's pushing you back i believe once you get started um you would want to even know more you see what i mean so um why is coding important today um one of the main reasons why people are you know interested i don't know what your reason is maybe you could put it in a description area why you want to learn to code but uh, one of the main reasons why people learn to code is to be able to get jobs okay so um if you get on the internet um and you go to a place like craigslist for example right I was on Craigslist and uh, I was just checking out, seeing what kind of job, uh, web developer jobs are available. And almost in every city on Craigslist, there are jobs, you know, for example, you take, let me take Knoxville, for example, you know, when you go over there and then you click in the um, web developer or web info design underneath the job section and you click right there, you're going to find a bunch of um, web design related job okay here it says remote front-end developer um, you know different jobs and this is just one city this one says web code expect HTML5 you know uh, there are different and different different available jobs you know jobs that are available for people that are interested in web design um, I pulled out other you know other uh, jobs in other cities um, over here there is um, web code expert HTML5 uh, for mega site um, you know different so many jobs this is just on Craigslist alone all right uh, so many different jobs guys you can go in there and, and and just pick a couple cities and you will see and this is like every day every single day there are new posts coming you know being posted on craigslist job availability for web design okay you can also check other websites like indeed uh, you can see here front-end developers making 65 to 70 dollars an hour um, you know uh, here we got 18 to 20 bucks we got 15 uh, 53 to 63 an, an hour for front-end developer you know you can check uh, zip recruiter and and so on you know there are so many different uh, um, you know job availability you know if you uh, if you're serious about getting knowledge or learning HTML CSS and advancing from there okay so um, some people might say well you know HTML and CSS is on the decline and that's not true okay because i'm the type of person that likes to do research you know because i want to know the facts okay i don't just go by what 
somebody posted on Facebook or some comment on YouTube, I like to find out is there really truth to what some you know what I'm reading here? And some people say, oh well, because of uh, no code platforms like e uh, WooCommerce and Shopify and WordPress, you know Wix and all that, because of these guys. Uh, the the demand for CSS and HTML knowledge is on the decline. That's not true. The reason is that even if you are on a no-code platform, let me take for example WordPress. Okay, this is a WordPress site that I built. Okay, but check this out. Even though they have all these no-code features, this is sort of like a page builder that makes it easy to build pages. But yet there will come times when you still have to do some custom HTML work. Okay, so when you go over here, I click right over here, I may need to do some custom, you know, HTML. You can see right over here, right, that I coded this in myself. Okay, so even though these platforms are available, they still, you know, customers still need unique customization okay and the platforms do know that all these no code platforms understand that so they make it easy for you to add custom html so you can customize a website for your customers okay so um you can look at let's say another custom part this one says custom css you see why it's important to still uh, you know why the demand for uh, knowledge in CSS and HTML is still relevant today. Look at this custom CSS part. This is a no-code platform, yet they do have custom CSS section where you can come in and add your own CSS to customize the website. So guys, the demand for HTML and CSS is still alive and actually it seems to me that it's, still, it's actually going up okay it's on the upward trend uh, one other reason is that I checked Google Trends okay for some keywords so just look at Google Trend and look at this look at people that are searching for HTML CSS all right and you can see this is like a five-year uh, data right I search look for five-year data to see what kind of trend is going on and check this out look at how it starts from here and then it's peaking okay now it's uh we are right at the end of uh, 2022 and you can see this thing is peaking i could say based on this trend that in the coming two three four years or more this thing is gonna go up and keep going up and all look this trend is happening while all these no code platforms are still available in fact, there are probably new ones that are being released into the market. Yet, demand for HTML and CSS keep climbing. Okay, people are are even looking to learn HTML and CSS. Okay, you can see over here. Uh, this is another trend that I found about people people that are looking for HTML course. Okay, so you are not alone, guys. There are other people that are also looking to learn check this out check this five-year trend okay there is a reason why this thing keeps going up why because there is demand for HTML uh, you know customization there is demand for CSS customization sometimes there are, you might be at your job you might be responsible for managing the content of your job you know the website for your company and you might get to a point where you may need to add some custom HTML or some styles of colors, you know, through CSS, right? So instead of hiring someone else, maybe, you, you know, you might be interested in learning this stuff so you can please your employer, right? And so sometimes even companies will send their employees out to learn some of these things, all right? Instead of having to hire a new person and pay them, significant amount of money so you can see guys there is an upward trend for HTML courses you can see right here I put different keywords look at look at this one HTML tutorial for beginners another five-year trend you could see that although it flattened a little bit here 
this one is also starting to peak all right so guys you can see that the demand for html and css knowledge is going up look at this one it's starting to peak right now so you are in the right uh time frame all right so um uh yeah you are not the only person guys you are not the only person there are lots of people that are you know hungry for html uh, knowledge html and css knowledge so um one other thing i want to mention is that there is um a behavior that i've noticed among newbies who are starting to learn how to code and that is uh, that behavior is not a good behavior because what they do is they like to sit behind the computer and just pull out a, a youtube video and just watch maybe you're watching my video right now um and they just sit there and just watch the tutor code right you i'm doing all the coding and you're just watching and you think that you can memorize everything i'm doing that's not the right uh, way to approach coding okay in order for you to be good with coding you have to practice a lot okay that's very very important forget about memorizing for now the memorizing part will come naturally as you uh, work and solve problems and do exercises and stuff like that the memorizing part will come naturally but um, it's very important that you understand what the code is doing okay you have to be able to read and understand the code all right and also to, uh, and also you have to practice okay so these things help you learn code faster when you're practicing so one platform that i use to learn how to code uh is code academy now check the description area you're gonna see a link uh, if you're looking at this video check the description area of this specific video you're watching right now okay you will see a link in the description area and once you click on that link um, you will let me let me actually do that so you could just go to the description part here okay like somewhere over here okay and then you click on that link and it will open up a page like this that's me right there okay guys so um once you get in here you just need to just enter your uh name and and, and email right here okay just your first name and email that way i'll be able to i want to be able to check up with you guys to see how you're doing all right so just enter your name i'm just gonna enter one of my emails here um make sure it's uh a, a good email okay and then once you enter your name in here uh, uh let me just enter my name let me just put in kc right here and then you could just click right here access code website and it should bring you right here all right the reason why i just took like i said before the reason why i just took the name and email is i like to be able to follow up with you uh, you know every now and then to see how you're doing with your coding okay um, so once you get to this page right here this is gonna be code Academy's web page you can go ahead and, and sign up for an account all right you can use an email and password okay or you can just do instant signing with your gmail account if you have a gmail account you could do that you could use LinkedIn or Facebook and then there's also GitHub. I see here this looks like GitHub. All right. So I'm going to go in and just use. Um, let me go ahead and use one of my emails here. Um, I mean, I'm going to create a password. Okay. And then I'm going to hit sign in. They're saying that the website, uh, the password needs to be stronger. So I'm gonna put in some numbers in there and then, okay, let me try this. 
Okay. So uh, once you sign in, um, you should see a page that looks something like this. Now, Code Academy um, may change. Uh, let me move this. So Code Academy every now and then may change their interface. Okay. So at the time you're watching this video, maybe they they probably may have changed. They may have changed this interface to something else, but don't worry about it. Um, the first place you need to go is to look for where it says go to catalog. Okay. And then um, you can click go to catalog and then it should open up this page right here. Okay. So now you're going to be looking at the top menu here and then you see where it says start free trial. Okay, this should show, maybe this could show up on the first page, who knows, but always look for this button that says start free trial and then click on that. All right, now here they're asking us to verify the email. So it's important you make sure you go check your email and verify the email. Uh, let me copy this link right here. Copy link. Uh, right here. Okay. So my email is verified. It says your email has been verified. All right. So when you get here, uh, you can get a seven day trial. Okay. So even though they do ask you for your debit card, they're not going to bail you instantly. Okay, so don't get, don't be worried. If you just want to try this for seven days and exit, um, it's okay. Just go ahead and choose this one here and then uh, put in your card in here and then hit the seven day trial. What they do is that they will send you an email reminder three days before your trial ends to let you know uh, if you want to continue with the plan or not. Okay. I recommend that you go with this one, given the value you're going to get from um, this course and also using this platform, $49 a month is, is a steal, you know, that's, that's a great, great, um, uh, you know, deal you can make because of the knowledge. This, uh, when you pay this, you get full access to all the courses that are available on Code Academy, not just the HTML and CSS, but you could get career path courses. Every course available on the platform will, will be available to you. All right. And also it's a monthly billing. So if you just want to do one month or two months, three months, and then cancel, you can do that as well. All right. But I highly recommend that you sign up with one of these plans that way when i'm getting deeper and deeper into the course you you will be able to follow along with me because some of the things i'm going to be teaching may require you to have a pro account all right so maybe in the beginning you probably wouldn't but when we get deeper in, into the course you may need to have a pro account okay so go ahead and sign up now after you've signed up uh, i'll need you to come back to this specific video you are watching all right when you come back to this video you're watching right now go back to the description area of that video okay and uh, let me go right here okay so when you get back into the to this specific video and you go to the description area you will see a link that says lesson one or link to lesson one and then click on that link all right when you click on that link you'll be able to join me for the uh, for the lesson for that specific you know you'll be able to join me for that specific lesson that way you see everything that i see okay it's important guys that you follow these steps because i'm taking you down a specific course okay uh on right on your course you might see something that says full stack full stack engineer it don't mean that you're uh, you're going to have to learn to become a software developer. Okay, you can learn what you want to learn. If HTML and CSS is all you want to learn, 
fine. After you finish learning that, you can take the next exit. It's okay. Uh, the reason why I took that pathway is that some of you, after learning HTML and CSS, you may want to take it a step further. Okay, you may want to take it a step further. So, uh, if you decide to take it a step further, then maybe you want to learn JavaScript, right? You want to take it high, you know, take learn more stuff. So, if you want to do that, you will still be in the right lane and then still use whatever credit you've learned you know to continue in the path that you are on okay so um what should you be expecting from this course uh what should you expect from this course uh um i designed this course to make it easy for those of you who have no knowledge at all in coding or maybe you probably learn a little bit of coding and you just want to you know take it a lot more serious now this course is for you i'm going to be breaking things down into pieces so you'll be able to consume um you know it will be easier for you to understand and to digest uh what you know what what html and css is all about all right uh we're going to be doing a lot of projects uh, you know and that will help sharpen your skills okay having all the knowledge and not being able to apply it is probably not a good thing right so we want to be able to uh, apply the knowledge we have work on different projects and that way we can sharpen our skills you know we can debug problems fix mistakes all those things help make us better okay we may be doing some quizzes um and also you can use the comment area to write certain suggestions certain things you you are interested in learning um you know i could make some room for that you know i could update the course also and make room um for that uh we will also learn how to develop uh websites locally and then after that we will transfer the site over to the web right so we can use our computer in the beginning to play the role of a web server where we could develop the website locally look at it locally where nobody else has access to it and then after we are done we can transfer it over to ftp or you know a hosting company and display it. okay so um also i need you to just be patient and follow this course. Um, don't get too ahead of yourself, okay? Just follow my lead. If there is something that you think I probably, um, you know, oh, why is he not doing this? It's I know why I'm doing that. I, it may come up maybe in the next lesson or the next, the third lesson or the fourth lesson, all right? So don't get too overly excited. Don't get ahead of yourself. Uh, we will start the coding um, lesson within the code academy framework okay so there may be certain things we don't need some some declaration we don't we don't need in the code academy setting because it's more like a controlled environment right but after that when we have to code and create our own html files and css files we will have to declare certain things inside of the some code inside of the files to tell the browsers that this is a HTML document, this is a CSS document, or this you know this is a JavaScript document and so on. All right? Okay. So um, just be patient and follow along with me. I know this is why this is a course. Okay. A course means we're taking you down a specific path so that you can get to your destination a path that we think will be best for you all right to help you um, understand coding faster all right and also avoid uh, rudimentary mistakes okay so um if you have any questions feel free write it in the comments area or any suggestions i'm open to that so um i hope you guys enjoy this um, course um i hope you find value out of it and that you would you know this course will make you to want to learn more and more okay all uh, right thank you very much for watching this video and uh let's get ready for the next video 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.